A big good afternoon to everyone in the SRL community. We are coming to you from Halifax, here in the northern part of England, the Shea Stadium. And we are finally here for internationals. It's the Six Nations preseason trials. The first of three games to be played, international friendly scheduled across the next three days. It's Justin Monkey and Ireland taking on Tom Thompson and Europe. And what a game it is to kick things off here. We're finally at this part of the season. It's internationals. And what a way to start things off. A Northern Hemisphere rivalry between Europe and Ireland. And both teams start started across the park as we take a look here. A beautiful day from Halifax. No fans in attendance for the trial games on this week. But you can guarantee your money that the place will be rocking next week as we kick off the Six Nations tournament from Manchester. And Sneeko Balboa taking the first hit up of the game. We're on the way here. Your first trial game, Don Pongston through the right hand side. And what a break it was from him, the EU captain. We'll take a look at their lineup. And it is a very great side for both, uh, both nations competing here today. We'll just open up the EU lineup and to start us off, Dom Pongston, Michael Krimp, David Nofalingawi, Angie Slugger, and Xavier Demando makes up their back line. Nofalingawi with an early break puts a step on Corey Bell, fifth and last here for the Europeans. I'll finish their lineup in a second, but here they go, dropping in the pocket. Michael McGlucky takes one, two, one step too many and off the hook there for Ireland. But it's McLucky and Hellyer that makes up their halves pairing. Be great watch here today. Oli Pache and Sneeko Balboa making up the front row for the Europeans. Monkey with a great breakaway play there. Kieran Wells is their number nine for the EU. Diego Maikazi and Wally Allen, their second rowers. And Luke Short, SRL veteran, there at the lock spot. So that is the European squad for the Irish. Corey Bell at the one jersey. Kobe Kelly, Cyrus Marks, Shannon Freeburn, and Ben O'Donnell making up their back line with Liam Ryan and Brad Callaghan there in the halves. Uh, Justin Monkey, their captain, there with Riley Murray. The two captains out of touch. There goes Kobe Kelly. Couldn't even get past this lineup. Early mistake here from the Ireland side. And Paddy Corcoran playing at the nine position with Christian McKay, the freak, there with Chad Johnson in the second row. And Milo Kerrigan will be their lock. And what a game it is for the Europeans and the Irish. Of course, New Zealand and Pacifica playing tomorrow with Great Britain and Australia to conclude the trial games. It's an international friendly across this week in preparation for the upcoming Six Nations campaign. For everyone involved, and there's so much names, there's been a lot of changes and switch-ups with opt-outs and whatnot. Don Pongston, six again is the ruling. Nearly a double whammy there for the Irish side. They'll be on the back foot once again. But this European forward pack, the likes of Oli Pache and Sneeko Balboa, they're in the front row. And Sneeko, what a season that was for him in Clubland. Leading his Dolphins nearly to a minor premiership, but making the finals in his first season as a captain. And that'll help inject a lot of leadership and experience for this European side. Officially ranked the lowest... Um, in terms of overall compared to the other five nations, but they are still competitive. Michael McLucky gets them about two shy of the line, fifth and last. The Europeans drop back with a grubber. It's there. Hell yeah. Dives too early. But I'll tell you what, this EU side, they have really turned up early on in this first half. And it's reminiscent of their performance against Pacifica in the last test match they played in, where they really... Had the upper hand for the first half. 
And it was the second half that got away from them and hopefully some lessons learnt from the Europeans. I'm personally looking forward to seeing how they go this season. Oh, this season, this tournament. They will be in Pool A alongside Australia and Pacifica, so they are in the Pool of Death. With all due respect to the EU and the other three nations in Pool B, which is Ireland, Great Britain and New Zealand. Fifth and last year, Liam Ryan playing in at the halves for today's game. And potentially for the rest of the tournament. Xavier Demando on the return. He gets through. And Xavier Demando opens up the scoring for the Europeans on the right-hand side. And he'll go coast to coast under the sticks for the first points of the game. Xavier Demando. Capping off an excellent run there with a try to kick things off from Halifax. And Justin Monkey in pursuit, but just couldn't catch up to him. Kobe Kelly trying to rally there late. But the Europeans off to a great start here. Kieran Wells to take the goal conversion. Well, the season it's been for Wellesy as well. Picked into the Maroon side earlier this season, but unfortunately didn't get any playing time. But that could all change next season, next series. It's the Europeans with a 6-0 lead over the Irish. Eight minutes played here from the Shea Stadium. And tomorrow, New Zealand Kiwis taking on the Pacifica Islanders. Chris Lord up against the nation that he once captained. A beloved uh, Kiwi in the SRL. Kane Chapman Kenny, another big name opting out of T1 selection to play for Pacifica. One. And of course, that big game between Australia and Great Britain in a couple days' time to round off the trials. Andy Slugger now, this right-hand side of the European backline, they just opening up holes in the defence of the Island Wolfhounds. Island come, coming away with a victory in their last Test match against Great Britain from DW Stadium in Wigan. Very tightly contested game before they managed to break away at the end. Something like 48 to 30, I believe it was. 46 30, maybe. But here we are. Six nations just around the corner. We're officially in Season 9 territory. And the Six Nations tournament kicking off in Manchester next week. All three games sold out. Big crowds going to be expected. And the atmosphere will be rocking there. Especially with this game being in the Northern Hemisphere. British and Irish fans, even European fans, will turn up in huge numbers, singing, chanting, helping make the atmosphere of international footy what it is in the SRL. It's very unique, bit of a rarity that we've seen internationals played in the SRL. But over the past few seasons, since the Manchester Mines World Cup, it has become a prominent part of the fixture. And we can look forward to some great international footy here today and across the next few weeks as Liam Ryan gets a short scoop kick away to Xavier Demando. You got to question why they're still targeting that side. Demando and Slugger are working up wonders there. But they do a good job to wrap him up on the return as Wally Allen. The new Canberra Raiders captain for season 9 and congratulations to Wally Allen. Getting the backing of his former captain Jordan Lewis and there we go. First penalty of the game given away. By the Island Wolfhounds. And this European side doing a great job to, to just keep their composure. Not too often that a team as stacked as this Island side will give away those sorts of balls. And there we go. Riley Murray gets a huge hit on Diego and my cousin there. Gives him a little spray as he does so. Oli Pache shrugs one off. Gets the pass. And it's intercepted by Justin Monkey on the return. Trying to counter-attack the Irish captain. And it was a good bit of play there. From the EU. And Riley Murray finds space on the left edge. Riley Murray playing in the Season 8 Grand Final. Just over a week ago. He is now the new Tigers captain. Their inaugural captain for next season. Corey Bell breaks the line. Tries to cut in field. And he's turned on his back there. Gang tackled by Don Ponson and Jaeger Mikazi. Fourth now, the Irish. They give it flat to Kerrigan. And Kerrigan is brought down in the play. Or in the tackle. Fifth and last now. 
14 minutes play from Halifax. Scrub off from Liam Ryan. Straight through to Christian McKay. And the two Gold Coast Titans teammates linking up on the play. What a beautiful run there from McKay. He just had to hit his line. And he did so to perfection. Playing in second row for today's game. Usually accustomed to playing in the front row. But there you go. Ireland with their first points on the game. Of the game. On the board. And now kick to come here for Kyle Lewis. Sorry, Kyle Lewis. Bradley Callaghan. Callaghan getting the nod for the halfback jersey. And he slots that conversion. Six all is the score. And what a game it's been so far. 15 minutes played on the first Six Nations trial game between Europe and Ireland your first of three this week and a very tight tussle between the two sides kind of what you'd expect from a game like this so much experience right across the park some of the best names in the SRL and it's a privilege as always to be broadcasting to everyone back home in Australia. Big good day. And of course, a big kia to everyone in New Zealand. A lot of viewers tuned in for the first trial game of the international tournament. The pre-season trials, I should say. International friendly between Europe and Ireland where we are currently deadlocked at 6 all. Wiley Murray gets them to the halfway line. Fifth and last, they go to Callaghan in the slot, and he'll stab it towards the right side, or his right side. Michael Crimp on the return, and Crimpy voted one of the wingers of the season. A big congrats to him. Accustomed to playing at the five spot, but he can play there on the left wing. Very versatile in the back line. It's the Europeans now try and march forward. Just scraping into the Irish half now as they give it inside to Oli Parche. Yeah, you got my cousin now. You can never miss the long green here as he gets him to the 30. 36 gained on the set, fifth and last. The EU drop it in the pocket, but Oli Parche is in the way. Just decides to hold on to it and play it safe. Bit of a let off towards the end there, and Ireland will be. Playing the ball in relatively good field position to start off this set. Okay, gets them about 35 out from their own line. First tackle now. Corey Bell, one of the big names in this Irish side. Alongside the likes of Liam Ryan. Milo Kerrigan as well. Queensland Maroons lock. Was in contention for kangaroo selection if I believe so, but he did opt out. As Paddy Corcoran now, the Warriors lock, playing at the hooker spot here today. We'll see how that all turns out. As this Irish side, give it to Chad Johnson. And Johnson gets him inside the 30. 20 minutes played, fifth and last. They drop back in the deep pocket to Liam Ryan. And Ryan will just punt it towards the corner of Xavier Demando. He finds a bit of space, Demando. Demando just needs to get past Corey Bell, and he might be over for a second. He's got numbers on the left. Will he go there? Corey Bell trying to cut him off, and he'll do so. Gets to him shy of the 10, but that's a great run from Demando. And what an absolute blinder he's having in this first half. Scoring the first try of the game, and now getting the Europeans inside the red zone with that run. Oh, it's a forward pass straight to Wally Allen. And the EU side once again with an unforced mistake. And momentum just goes out the window as we see. But I'll tell you what, they've really turned up the European side. They know how important it is to get off to a good start. This island side, they cannot be underestimated one bit. As we see Shannon Freeburn from dummy half and he hits a nice step to get him around the right edge. Fourth tackle now. Ireland trying to get into the red zone. Put up a kick that will pin the Europeans deep within their own half. We see Christie get them just short but fifth and last here. Good position for Ireland if they can get the kickoff. 
The drop in the pocket. Liam Ryan's there. Puts up an absolute high bomb. Don Pongston's got a foot in goal, I believe. Referee says no. Don Pongston gets past the line. He just needs to beat Corey Bell. He's got numbers on the right. He won't use it. He'll just take the contact there. Didn't want to force another turnover. And old Jack Scott straight through the middle. His first run of the game, I believe, coming off the bench. In with Jordan Marsh Marshall, I think it is. Don't quote me on that one, but third tackle now as the Europeans get inside the red zone. Reverse inside our play. Don Pongston one-on-one -on -one with Corey Bell. And Corey Bell not letting him get past once again. But here they are, about three meters from the line. Flat ball out to Yago Mikaji. Turned on his back, 97 gained on the set. They've gone the length of the field. What can they do with the kick option? Fifth and last, Grubber straight to Jake Scott and Jake Scott scores straight off the bench and onto the board he goes. Jake Scott, what a try. A beautiful set play there from the EU side, executed to perfection as we see. Michael McLucky putting in the short Grubber and Jake Scott, I thought he might have been a a foot offside maybe some questions to be asked but nonetheless Jack Scott will get the f second try for the Europeans as Kieran Wells will have an easy job to kick it from right in front 25 minutes in here from Halifax it's a beauty of a day in what is traditionally a very cold country here in England 12-6 is the score. The EU side with the upper hand at the moment. And Ireland down but not out by any means. We saw what they were capable of in their last test match against Great Britain. And if the Europeans want to get a result here today, get a W, they need to learn the lessons from the last test match. They need to really... Keep the pressure on in the second half because they've put in some great work early in the first. And the Europeans arguably, or you could argue that they are the underdogs of the Six Nations tournament, but the way they're playing, you would not believe that's the case at all. Ireland now trying to hold them as Luke Short gets a big fend away, but he's brought down. And a good tackle by Chad Johnson, I believe it is. But then last now, McLucky gets a good kick away towards the corner. And Kobe Kelly is there. Kobe Kelly steps one. But Don Pongston will just stick his shoulder into him. And bring him back to the 30. Kobe Kelly rounding off what is an incredible back line for this island side. And Alex Christie gets the inside ball. A great run there from Alex Christie, the Newcastle Knight. One of the Season 7 Grand Final participants, McKay, gets the offload. Bit of a risky one, but Kerrigan will just hold on to it. Bit of a settler there. Cut out ball, Christian McKay, he'll just run it straight. And you've got to watch out if you're standing in his way. Because McKay is one of the biggest hitters in the SRL. Fifth and last, Liam Ryan gets the grab by Corey Bell. This could be a, magi a magic play. Kerrigan with the offload. Kerrigan might barge over. He's turned on his back. And that was a huge play there from Ireland. A great rubber kick there from McLucky and the experience, the speed, the X factor of Corey Bell on show there. Corey Bell getting the offload away to Kerrigan, but Kerrigan just couldn't get the ball down to the turf. Turned over on his back. And all of a sudden, they find themselves back on the fence as Yago Mikazi, the recipient of a good offload from Don Pongston. Corey Bell trying to get stuck into him on the ruck play as we see Jordan Marshall give it out. Michael Crimp there to receive it. Fourth tackle now and the Europeans inside opposition half as they go. Don Pongston, watch out, Don Pongston. Corey Bell, what a battle this has been so far between the two fullbacks. Pongston and Bell, fifth and last now. Where will they go? The Europeans in the pocket to McLucky. McLucky puts it up. It's a high one. Who's going to be under it? Tap back on Pongston. Couldn't hit the step and squeeze through the defense. And that was a great tackle there. A great defensive set from Ireland. 
They have conceded a couple tries, but they've been pretty solid, more or less, on defence. It's just the mistakes that have really been costing them. But plenty of time left to adjust. 30 minute, 31 minutes played here. Your first international friendly of the Six Nations trial is proudly brought to you by TVC. And Sunny Visuals for tackle now. Liam Ryan with the ball. He's way over the 40, but he will just send it downfield, force Pongston to run back and turn. One, release. Cuts his momentum there. First tackle now, the Europeans in their own red zone. Going to try and work it out through the middle. Jake Scott, That's your second. one of the great characters in our game, scoring one of the three tries here so far in this match. That's Pongston now. Gives it out to Halyer and Halyer. Who played halfback for the Bulldogs in the grand final. The season 8 grand final win over Melbourne. And what a season it was for Daniel Halyer. Voted as 5'8 of the season. And a big raps to him. As Luke Short now will send this one downfield. Kobe Cully there to return it. And he's brought down. Great cover tackle from Halyer. But Ireland now with a good start at the 30. First tackle as they dish it out to Liam Rogers. And Liam Rogers, the co-vice captain for the Moraines last season. And he's officially the Gold Coast Titans captain for season 9. And Corey Bell on the right edge. Don Ponkston just there. I'm just in the split second. So we see, oh, it's a wide pass. Wally Allen intercepts it. Wally Allen's got a bit of space here. And he's taken high. And that'll be a penalty given away there. And that is a momentum shifter right there. Ireland looking dangerous on the play. But the turnover, Wally Allen with some great awareness to just pick that one off. He had space on the right-hand side. Not sure who it was that took his head off. I think it was Corey Bell. But now with just under five minutes left in this first half, the Europeans have a great chance to try and get one more across the try line heading into the sheds at half time as they play the ball out. Luke Short there to run it up. Taken five short by Liam Rogers. Third tackle now. Where did they go? Short ball. McLucky gives it out to Jaeger Mykazi. Mykazi will try and barge over. Turned on his back. Referee Blake Harris calls the play up. And he'll have a big game in a couple of days' time, making his debut in the green and gold jumper is Don Pongston. It's that signature sidestep. Fifth and last now. Where will they go? The Europeans give a flat ball. Oh, Luke Shaw taken off the ball. And referee Blake Harris ruling play on. And Sneaker Pal Bro are just blowing up at him. Like Harris looking a bit timid after that play, but Ireland do hold on. They might be counting their blessings a bit because there would have been a bit of a kick in the guts to concede another try on the brink of half time. It's four tackle now. They shift it left. Cyrus Marks there to field it, and Cyrus Marks finally getting one of his, his touches in this half. What a season he had for the Penrith Panthers. Playing in at the wing and had a stint at fullback. He'll be playing in the three jersey tonight for Ireland. So this is his first international game. A debut for him in the green and white. And the Irish just trying to hold out, the, hold out defensively. Before we get into half time. Just a minute away. The Europeans now third tackle. They go right side, out wide. Don Pongston gives a great ball to Demando. And Demando has just been making easy work of that right edge. Fourth now. Just over 30 seconds left in the first half. Where it's the Europeans with a 12 to 6 lead over the Island Wolfhounds. Fifth and last here. Where will they go? Sneaker Pell Bro, a slow play the ball. Just winding down the clock. Hell yeah, we'll send it towards the corner. One big tackle needed to stop the kick return. Ben O'Donnell there to field it, but it'll be taken. Taken. And we'll head to the sheds. We'll see you in a second. Welcome back here from Halifax. 
12 to 6 is the score in favour of the Europeans, the European brethren. They hold the lead over the Ireland Wolfhounds. And it was a great first half from Europe. They really made the most of their attacking chances and a couple of unforced errors from Ireland, allowing some points to be put on them. He's held there. Up now. Right. And sub checks have been cleared for Ireland as Riley Murray runs this one out. Gets some 25 from their own line and Ireland. The halftime adjustments. Hopefully going to be able to allow the play to open up more for them. Dylan Sharp will take over at the right centre spot. Riley Murray straight through the rip, straight through the middle. What a game he's having. The Ireland vice captain. We see them dishing out Corey Bow and Bobby Werman. There for the Europeans playing in that the second row spot. And Lee Simon shifting out to the centres as well. So both teams making adjustments to try and finish out the second half here is Daniel Howier. He's been all over the park here today. Great stuff to see. Luke Shaw dishes it out. Michael McLucky. He's been somewhat criticised for his play at the 6 jersey. I'll tell you what, as a 6 myself, it is one of the hardest positions to play. You get none of the glory and all of the blame, so... McLucky looking to have a good game here today. Prove the doubt is wrong. Fifth and last now, just shy of the 30. A good set here for EU as we see them play the ball. Lee Simon and give it out to Hell Yeah. And Hell Yeah will just punt it towards the corner of Ben O'Donnell. Hell, that's one. Move. And just a warning in advance, I did forget to do sub checks for the Europeans, so expect that on the return set. And oh, Riley Murray just bumps one off once again. Luke Short, I believe it was. And Riley Murray, he is taking no prisoners in this game. It's an international friendly, but I don't think he got the memo. Probably didn't hear the friendly part. Dropped into the pocket, Liam Ryan there to... Go for 40-20, and he nearly forces Pongston out of bounds. Pongston met on the return. And the subtext have gone through for the Europeans. Sneako Balroa trying to get a cheeky stint in the second half, but back off he goes. So the Europeans now looking to counter on the right-hand side where they've been the most strongest, you'd have to say. There's Jake Scott back on in the second half. What a first-half stint it was from him. On the halfway line, they play the ball. Short one out to Jake Scott. Bumps one off. And he returns serve against Riley Murray, who put one on one of his boys just earlier. Fifth and last. Here we go. Hell yeah, in the pocket. Goes towards the corner of Kobe Kelly. Watch out. He's a danger man here, but Kobe Kelly wrapped up in a good tackle by Lee Simon. Lee Simon making his EU debut here today. His first game in the international scene as Justin Monkey on the right edge through the middle. He'll cross field it. Straight down towards the 30. Gets a few post-contact meters. What a great run there from the Irish skipper. Second tackle now. I'll give it to Kerrigan. Kerrigan with a big fan. And Don Punxton with a try-saving ankle tap. There once again. Don Punxton. In these big games, he can be relied upon. And he'll be relied upon throughout this tournament. Clutch plays like that. Doing a great job to keep the Europeans... Up on this on this set as we see oh, off the noggin. It looks like Corey Bell puts a stab with a grubber. Corey Bell tried to work a bit of individual magic. Just too much sauce on the grubber. And it spills over the sideline. And that'll be six again for the Europeans. Full set restart. And that would have been a great try from Corey Bell. He certainly backed himself and he nearly pulled it off. Oh, Luke Short shrugging off the defender. And what a play here from the Europeans. I'll tell you what, their forward pack has really stood up here today. They've been staunched through the middle. And that's where they played the majority of their footy. 
It is probably the strength of their lineup, so maybe not much of a surprise. And Bobby Werman, the recipient through the middle, gets an offload. Kieran Wells, what a pass, what a try. Daniel Hellier crosses the line, and that was an absolute beauty of a play to perfection by Team Europe. What a pass there from Kieran Wells. Hits Daniel Hellier nice and flat. And through the gap he goes. Daniel Hellier. I am in the admiration of that play. That is some brilliant stuff there. From the Europeans. And they will take the lead out. 16-6. 15 minutes in. Kick to come here. As Kieran Wells will slot this one straight over the black dot. 18-6 is the score. Your first international friendly of this week between the European Brethren and the Irish Wolfhounds. And Callaghan will be set to get us back on the way. And the Europeans off to a flying start here. And some might have tipped them as underdogs for this game, but... They've really had their. He's held there. Clear him. They've really had the That's momentum one. in their favour, and the Irish side. We know how talented they are. It's only a two-try deficit, a two-score deficit. Hell. Hell two. But with the clock winding down, as we enter the final half an hour of this game, they're gonna need to try and bounce back as soon as possible. You don't want to leave it too late. Oli Parche straight through the middle, gets the offload away to Kieran Wells. And Kieran Wells will just take it. Four, About 25 from the line. Out left they go to Yeager and Mikazi. And Mikazi just winds up on the play. 75 gained on this set. Fifth and last for the Europeans as they drop back in the pocket. McLucky catches that one awkwardly, but he puts in a good bomb. They're going to let it bounce. And Corey Bell wrapped up. Great kick pressure there. Or chase pressure there from the Europeans. It was just a wall of blue jerseys. Swarming in on Corey Bell. And it's a huge kick from Callaghan to get the goal line drop out there. And Holly Parche running it straight at Riley Murray. Brought down by him and Milo Kerrigan, I think it is. Punkston now. It's a step. Gets him inside the 30. Player offside for Ireland, but he won't get in the way of the play. Very lucky as Jake Scott takes him inside the red zone now. The Europeans just mounting a lot of pressure. On their attack as they give it to Luke Short. Luke Short gets him to the 10. Fourth now. Wells, short ball. McLucky out to Yego, my cousin. And my cousin about three meters short of the line. Fifth and last. Where will they go? In the pocket. Putting in a grubber. McLucky off the goalpost. Someone pick it up. Paddy Corrigan. Cor Corcoran. I was going to say Paddy Corrigan. Paddy Corcoran. There to rescue it for the Ireland side. They could have conceded yet again, but it'll be another goal line dropout. And the Europeans just playing with a lot of confidence. Oli Pache once again shrugs off Riley Murray. And Oli Pache, he is an absolute machine for the Europeans here. He is taking this game by the scruff of the neck. Second now. EU already at the 10. They go right. Right hand side and Lee Simon. Lee Simon on debut for the Team Europeans. The Team Europeans. Team EU. The Newcastle Knight. Former War. Playing in at the blue and gold jersey on the right edge. He gets past Cyrus Marks. And Liam Ryan couldn't get to him in time. 22 to 6 is the score. 50 minute, 55 minutes played here from the Shea Stadium in Halifax. And Kieran Wells with his toughest conversion attempt of the game will try and swing it. <laughs> He's got swing on it, but it doesn't come back around enough. A fair effort from him though. 22 to 6 in favor of the European brethren. And Ireland just looking a bit shell-shocked at the moment. I don't think they would have expected this game to turn out the way it has. They're going to need to rally up here. They've got a lot, a lot of talent on their lineup. 
but someone's gonna have to step up. You'd think Corey Bell will be the one. He's held there. One release. Nearly working some individual brilliant brilliance. Almost scoring off the glover that he put in there, but nonetheless, they find themselves on the back foot here. The Irish Wolfhounds, they need to try and rally up as Werman. Driven back in a tackle, his debut for the Europeans as well, Bobby Werman. What a great player he is, especially at the 12th spot. They're lined up in kick formation. Daniel, hell yeah, it's a shanker. Straight to Corey Bell. Corey Bell tries to squeeze through the gap. He gets past Ponxton and he splits the defenders to go under the post and make it 12, 22 to 10. Kick to come from right in front and Corey Bell, you absolute champion. The SRL veteran, Melbourne Storm fullback and he just dives under the post. And we spoke about that individual br brilliance of Corey Bell, and there it is on full display. You can only watch and admire the speed, the footwork, the tenacity of this kid. As Callaghan slots it directly in front, sends it out of the venue. Come on, Callaghan, we've only got a couple of balls here. We, we don't have any ball boys in attendance. I've got to send someone to go get it now. But 22 to 12 is the score. As we enter the final quarter of this international friendly preseason trials with Six Nations. Kicking off next week from Manchester. All three games sold out. Tune in for it because it is going to be an absolute ripper. And you can expect the crowds to be in attendance. You can expect the chanting in the songs. The joint will be... Rocking off its foundations as Bailey Wilson on the left edge gets through. One on one with Ponxton. Corker now dishes it. Callaghan. Oh, Rogers gets folded in the tackle. Met there by Oli Parche. And Parche, I think he's been the best forward of the game today. He has just been a, a menace. He has just been a menace in today's game. Leading the way for the Europeans through the middle. And he's someone that is always reliable. Paddy Corcoran from dummy half on the fifth tackle. Gets the offload. Ben O'Donnell and Ireland trying a bit of unorthodox play to catch the Europeans offside. They were deep in the pocket to field the kickoff return. The kick return. Michael Krimp now steps McKay. Gets past. Well wrapped up by Corey Bell. And Corcoran having a dart from dummy half. I certainly didn't see it coming, but it just wasn't executed the way they would have wanted. My cousin runs it straight at Liam Rogers. Two contrasting hairstyles from the two forwards, as we see Michael Crimp steps back inside, gets into the 30. Europeans working pressure towards the red zone. Luke Short inside dish to Xavier Demando. And the Mondo there to take it to the 20 inside the red zone. Fifth and last in the slot. McClucky puts up a high bomb. Corey Bell might let it bounce. No, he won't this time. He's learned the lessons. Maybe a draw play as he, he left a bit of space and then he just gave himself a good run up. Catch that ball. Ten point lead here for the Europeans as the Irish side try and look for a comeback. Oh, reverse inside out play. Very dangerous. Corey Bell doing a great job to hold it, but he's brought down in a great tackle there from Pache, I think it was. No, sorry, from Bobby Werman. And Wilson. Freeburn with it, gets him to the halfway, third tackle. 62 played here from the Shea Stadium in Halifax. It's the Europeans holding a 10 point lead, 22 to 12. Christian McKay through the left edge, and he shrugs off Ponxton, but Ponxton dies for a last ditch attempt. Gets the ankle tap. And he's been so clutch here, Ponxton. He's put in a couple of try savers. You'd have to say Ben O'Donnell on the right wing. And Ben O'Donnell, what a try it was. Out there, all the space in the world. He just had to get past Michael Krimp and he was off and gone. Xavier Demando trying to catch him. And all of a sudden, the Europeans might be getting some some memories of that test match against the Pacifica side. 
where it was the second half comeback they allowed that unfortunately saw them walk away with the, the loss in that test match. And oh, Bradley Car Callaghan. What an absolute champion he is. Slotting that one from left to right. And cutting into that deficit now. Only a four-point lead for the Europeans. Just under 65 played here. And Ireland with 15 minutes to try and mount a comeback and take charge of this game. Take the lead. The Europeans with 15 minutes to try and knuckle down and not let off any pressure on the gas. They're going to put their foot down as Shannon Freeburn coming back on in the second half through the middle. Brian now, Shaw Porter and McKay. The two Titans linking up on the play. Second tackle now on the 20, they are. Bailey Wilson trying to find space through that left edge. And he's just wrapped up. Bell now steps one. Watch out, Corey Bell. Don Pongston there to chase him down. McLucky was there in pursuit as well. And that, that hole really just closed up quick as they dish it out. Oh, Ben O'Donnell. What a play there from Ireland. Corcoran dishing out a beauty of a pass to Ben O'Donnell. Finds him in open space. It's fifth and last now. Justin Monkey. He's going to have a crack at the kicking duties. And it goes straight to Angie Slugger. But Slugger wrapped up. As he catches that one. So just the monkey coming back through the middle at the lock spot. And for the Europeans, I believe it's Oli Pache. And that's a big move for them. A great move in my opinion. Oli Pache has been having a great game. So why not get him back out there? Fourth tackle now. The Europeans, they've been slow in the past couple of sets. As we see Don Ponson on the left edge. Cuts back in field. And Corey Bell was there to wait for him. Fifth and last now. Where will they go? In the in the pocket. McLucky will send it downfield. It's a great kick. It's got a good bounce on it. O'Donnell there. Fields it. Turns around. Just has to get past Pongston. But well, Pongston will wrap him up. Close to the sideline. But he stays in bounds. First tackle. Liam Rogers. Tried to find space on that right edge. There was no fullback in position. But great tackle from Jaeger and Mike Huzzy. And oh, fat ball. Oh, what has just gone on? It's six again. Bobby Werman, I think it was. Referee ruling that he kicked that ball and played at it. And they draw the penalty. Corey Bell held in the tackle too long. And the Europeans now starting to crack under a bit of pressure. The Irish side, they're down by four. But I'll tell you what, their confidence is just getting higher. It's nearly through the roof. In the second half, they're really mounting a comeback. That would have been a great chance for the Europeans to counter-attack. Bobby Werman, if he could have just picked it up somehow. I mean, to be fair, I don't think he even played at it, but it did come off his boot. And referee's interpretation was that he did try and stick that foot out. And stop the ball. Dead in its tracks, but it just ended up straight to Corey Bell. And has opened up this set, courtesy of a penalty conceded. Late in the second half, 10 minutes to go in your first international friendly between the Europeans and the Irish. Fifth and last here. Where will they go? They drop back left side, double pass out to Liam Ryan. Puts up a high bomb, sends it. Who's going to be there to field it? Tap back. Corey Bell shrugs one off and he gets across. Corey Bell on the left wing. What an absolute beauty of a try that was. And the Irish, they are back. With their first lead of the game. And Corey Bell in the right place at the right time. And he can notch up a second try to his belt. As Culligan contests his toughest kick of the day. And it's a crucial one. It could dictate the outcome of this game. He slots. Oh, he misses it towards the right. Wide right, 22 all is the score. Nine minutes remaining in this game. Here from Halifax. And strap yourselves in, folks, because this is going to be one hell of a finish. And just mind you, there is no extra time in the trials. There's no golden point. So if it is a draw, that will be the result. There's no more footy after 80 minutes. 
as Kieran Wells sends it back downfield. Corcoran there to receive it, dishes it out to Shannon Freeburn. And we are locked up at 22 points apiece. The nerves, the tension, it's all starting to set in now as we enter the final stage of this game. And what a clash it's been. If this game is anything to go by for the upcoming Six Nations tournament, then we are in for an absolute beauty as Kobe Kelly on the left wing. Trying to work his magic. And he stops shy there. Inside EU half. Big fan Paddy Corcoran's got space. Oh, Don Ponston dives at the grass. And he was nearly gone, but great cover defense there from the Europeans. Fourth tackle now. Offload. Out left. Cyrus Marks there. But not much doing on that play. Fifth and last now. They play the ball about 11 out from their own line. They go in the pocket. Oh, Paddy Corcoran drops the ball. And pressure released. For the European side, Don Pongston now. He's been carving up that line of the fence, but Corey Bell has just been all over him today. And all oh, interception straight to Cyrus Marks. And that is a crucial blow here for the Europeans. They're going to be back on the defense inside their own red zone as Shannon Freeburn gets him 15 away. Second tackle now. Right side, Ryan dishes it out wide. Corey Bell steps one. The Europeans trying to hold on through their goal line defense, but Ireland just rubbing their hands now. They know they've got a good chance to try and steal this one. And Liam Ryan, I think he's going to get there to the line. They're going to send it upstairs. Brought down by Bobby Werman, but Liam Ryan, just too much momentum. Carries him over the sideline. And what a dramatic turn of events it is. For the Irish Wolfhounds, green lights here from the Shea Stadium. And Ireland now with a four-point lead kick to come. Bradley Carrigan. Callaghan. Jeez, how many times have I done that today? Bradley Callaghan. Three from four on conversions. But this one, very easy. He should slot it. He does so. 22 to 28 in favor of the Ireland side. Less than five minutes remaining. Your international friendly brought to you by TBC Live and Sunny Visuals. Down by a try and the Europeans after such a great start to this game. Have just let this one get away from them and they're going to really have to try and, and dig deep if they want to steal this one. They need to hold up defensively here. They can't afford to let any... Line breaks get through. One, release. Otherwise, Ireland will be in good field position and in position to one down the clock. And there we go, Kobe Kelly. He's held there. Two hands away. Inside the EU half now as they go short to Liam Ryan. Cut out ball, Bailey Wilson. They dish it to Corcoran. Yes, the ball, the ball, the ball. And Corcoran, he's really stood up for um, Ireland here today, in my opinion. Playing in the nine jersey. More accustomed to playing out lock, but he's done a job here today for the green and white. As we see Cyrus Marks, he'll be taken out into touch. And that's a huge play there from Lee Simon. What a game Lee Simon is having in a second half stint. He's scored a try and he's come up with a try-saving tackle or a potential try-saving tackle. A huge defensive moment for the Europeans. And now with just three minutes left to play, they need to try and pull out a rabbit from the hat. The Irish side looking to try and hold out defensively as Demando just gets folded by Christian McKay. Second tackle now. They shift it right. They go all the way out to Don Ponston. Steps one. Liam Ryan there to bring him down. Third, third tackle now as the clock ticks down. Jake Scott takes the settler through the middle. They're going to have to come up with one more big line break here, the Europeans. They might not be in position to put in a good kick. Angie Slugger on the right-hand side. Can't get the offload away. Fifth and last here. EU need to try and some, try and do something here. Just throw the dice. They go to Oli Parche. He'll have a stab at it. Straight towards Corey Bell on the return. They'll tackle him there. And the Wolfhounds just looking to wind out the clock and come away with a win here today. What an afternoon of footy it's been. 22 to 28 in favor of the Irish. Three, 
Back with me. And the Europeans trying to get them up to play the ball. Ireland slowing down the rock. Corey Bell straight through the middle. Steps on Pongston. Shrugs one off with an offload to Shannon Freeburn. And that has killed a lot of time here. That could be enough to seal them out to the final siren. And they'll just hold on to the ball. Liam Rogers will take the last hit up of the game. And that is full time here. The Island Wolfhounds with a second half comeback to take this one away from Team EU. The European brethren. Your full time score 22 to 28 here from the Shea Stadium in Halifax. And what an absolute contest it was between these two sides. As we'll take a look at your TBC Live stats. And we'll start with the Europeans. Daniel Hallier, Lee Simon, Jake Scott and Xavier Damano. All across the line for a meat pie. Here in Wales with three conversions for the Irish Wolfhounds. Corey Bell with a double. Ben O'Donnell, Christian McKay and Liam Ryan all across. Elegant four conversions. We take a look. Time in possession 52% in favour of the Wolfhounds. Completions 20 of 27 for Europe compared to Ireland's 19 from 23. Eight errors from the European side compared to Ireland 6. A penalty conceded and two respectively from Ireland and 181 tackles made from the Europeans compared to the Irish 168. 26, 27 ta missed tackles on par and the line breaks as well, both on par. Um, it was a very evenly contested game and looking at that, those numbers, those stats, I mean it just tells the tale of the tape, doesn't it? It was that sort of a game, it was an arm wrestle but that was more in the second half. The first half, the Europeans just really got off the way that they would have loved to. You know, off to the first um, try of the game, the first points. And they really built quite a comfortable lead. 22-6 to six at one point, I believe. Don Pongston leading the way, their captain, over 250 run meters. 22 tackles, 2 missed, 10 line breaks. Xavier Demando having a blinder here today on that right wing and playing a stint through the middle. 227 run meters uh, with the nine tackles. He did miss a few, but four line breaks and that coast to coast try for the Europeans. Kieran Wells over 175. Oli Parche, what a game he had. 56 minutes stint, 167 run meters, six line breaks to his name. He was just going through comfortably. He was getting through that defensive line. Yeah, got my cousin, hell yeah, Scott, Short, Bell, Bro, and McLucky all north of 100. So that's a great attacking performance from this European side. I thought Angie, Angie Slugger had his moments as well. Lee Simon, 41 minutes. Um, don't know how he got 41 minutes there, but three attempted runs, 12 run meters. He did score a try, however, and he came up with a clutch um, you know, tackle on Cyrus Marks that forced him out. I believe it was Cyrus Marks. I've already forgotten. That's worrying, isn't it? For the Europeans, um, let me just give my quick thoughts on them. They played great here today. It's just that second half that they really need to work on closing out games. You know, it was the same thing that happened in that first test match against Pacifica. Where they got off to the lead in the first half, I believe. And they played a clinical first half, but it was the second half that it just wasn't, you know, as clinical as the first and they let this one get away from them once again. But the good thing for the Europeans is it's only an international friendly. The result isn't, you know, going to dictate the outcome of the tournament. This is why we have the trials to see what, what could work and what might not. Um, so if this game is an indication to go by, the Europeans, they're going to be very tough, very competitive in the tournament. But we take a look at the winning side now, the winning nation, Ireland. Corey Bell leading the way, 16 shy of 300 with 284 run meters. Um, nine line breaks, two tries, and a try assist to his name. Patrick Corcoran, over 200 as well, playing at the hooker position for Ireland. Thought he did a great job here. Um, you know, used to playing in at the lock position for the Waz, but he really stood up here. Kobe Kelly, another one, 163 run meters. McKay, over 125. Monkey 120 and Liam Ryan 120. A lot of their players also in the 90s range for run meters. Cyrus Marks, Ben O'Donnell, Bailey Wilson, Riley Murray and Bradley Callaghan. 
all thereabouts. And Miley Murray, what a game it was from him. Um, the battle between him and Oli Pache, that was a great one to witness. 13 tackles, he didn't miss a beat. Three line breaks, did concede a penalty, but I thought it was a great game from the Tigers captain. And the result goes the way of the Island Wolfhounds here today. What a win it was for them. We take a look at their prospects. They're going to have a tough opener against Pacifica next week to kick off their Six Nations campaign. But they can, they have what it takes to really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with any team. And when you've got the likes of a Corey Bell there at your fullback spot, Liam Ryan in the halves, I mean, that'll just go a long way. They've got a strong spine there. Corcoran in at the hooker spot. Kerrigan playing at 13. And we can't wait to see it all go down next week from Manchester. But that is your first game done and dusted here from Halifax. And it is 28 to 22, a win to Ireland over Europe. Thank you for joining me, Sonny Tyre, here for today's game. <laughs> today's game. And tune in tomorrow because we will be coming to you from Bradford. It is the New Zealand Kiwis taking on the Pacifica Islanders. And what a huge clash that's going to be. That'll be the second game of the preseason trials or the pre-tournament trials before we get into Six Nations next week. But as always, it's a privilege. Thank you for joining us once again. Enjoy your night. And we'll see you back here tomorrow on SRL TV.